This is the exchange yard. It has the gantry here for the individual control of the tracks going through. And further on, you'll see ground signals uh, that have to be obeyed for exit, for goods depart and goods entry. Um, but I'll just fly over it now so you can see the exchange yard. Below the exchange yard is the central station. And as we go down there and it starts to focus, I think we've got a train coming by, so I'll, uh, I'll just hesitate a little. There he is, there's one of the coal trains going by. Uh, so the entrance and exit to this central station, which is a terminus station, um, with some road bridges. Um, and we may come back and look at that a little bit later on, but it just gives you a view of the, the central station, which has four platforms. Now we're over on the far side of the layout. We have another yard, a mill yard, Albion Mills yard, which has got several tracks. It's handling lots of different goods, mainly at the moment minerals. And further down here, as I move along, you'll actually see that uh, I'm just in the process of building another spot or industry, which is what I call Dewsbury Express Dairy. And that's of course gonna handle both the milk and the eggs, as you see there. We come down below that onto the other level. Uh, we've got now a through station. Um, this is called Dimewood West. Um, and that can take five coach trains through its length. It's got two loops and two main lines through the center. Um, and that, as you come out of that station, in the background now you can hear my wheel cleaner going probably. <laughs> um, as you come out of that station, then you enter an area that's like a nominal approach into town with a bit of countryside scene. Um, and that takes us over again to where we saw the coal train coming through.